In today's video, we face two of the best players in Blue and Sea Battles 2, and we end up getting the true Sun God and hitting the max round. So let's hop right into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first match of the video is against one of the best players in the game, 51 Aliens. He has a top two bad from previous season. Looks like they're starting with the Dart Monkey, believe it or not. So they're probably going an aggressive strategy like Dart Farm Mortar with Cyber Quincy. Yep. I have seen the strategy a lot. What they typically do with the strategy is they'll go for a really early IMF alone and then pressure you a lot. So we'll end up seeing if that's the case here but um yeah i'm gonna start with my gwendolyn and my submarine now the thing is i can leak this match because i know my opponent doesn't really have a super monkey loadout so leaking is not a terrible thing for me um because i know the late game advantage on them i'll be able to kill them before on 40 so we'll keep that in the back of my mind here send them some greens looks like they already went for a crossbow actually believe it or not okay Maybe they have dart super farm then interesting normally when i'm facing these aggressive dart players they go for an early farm it doesn't seem to be the case here. All right, they stopped echoing at me. That's fine. We're gonna, okay, we got leaks on them. We'll go for my farm here. I think I'll go for an early bank as well. We'll both go for early banks this game. Would be the plan. If they're going for an early bank, I'll go for an early bank here. I think will be a decent plan of attack. Let's get barbed darts here. Twin guns, perfect. We're good. No need to fear, twin guns are here and we'll upgrade this farm. And we'll, uh, should I send them any more eco here? Probably not, since I'm going to be going for the early bank. I'm, I'm going to limit the amount of eco I send. I don't want to send too much to limit my, to slow down my bank too much, if that makes sense. I don't think that would be very wise of me. So we're going to go for a second farm before this round ends. Yeah, you can see they have, they have a slight farm advantage on me, but I do have more eco than them. So, I mean, I think I'll send them some white balloons as well this round. We're going to wait as long as possible to use my cocktail here against these. Cocktail. We'll balloon boost at them. I think I'll also use a tower boost here. Be the plan. We'll tower boost this. That's fine. Okay, we're good. Just trying to maintain the life advantage here because I don't know if they have I don't think they have super monkey but you you would never know these days you never know so just want to play it safe just in case and we'll probably end up getting a round eight bank here will be my plan they'll probably get round seven which is fine they have a better greed early game with dart monkey than me but I've got a much better late game than them so that's what we're kind of um relying on here with our loadout I honestly maybe could get round seven if I sell the farm but hmm I don't know if it's worth, in all honesty. I don't think I can even get round seven. Yeah, they get round seven, nicely done. Nicely done. We'll get round eight here. Nothing wrong with a round eight bank. Yeah, there's Dart Mortar, okay. So me making sure I didn't have the life advantage actually was pretty useless here. Because they have a, not a late game strategy. Pretty useless overall. But we got our thing up. We're chilling. Yeah, we're fine. I my this first sub was actually not on strong targeting, which was a bit of a problem there. Because normally you want on strong, so then you can actually um what's it called? You know what I mean. We'll boost this. Yeah, a little bit of a misplay on my part. It's all good though. We're fine. I can defend any rerush with cocktail and boost, pretty much. I'm not scared of being rerushed here. I'll have cocktail back. I can cash out my bank for a double ballistic missile. I'll be good. Slight misplays on my end, but it's not terrible at the end of the day. This will defend. And then he sells his bank, so I get up this, and we defend infinite. Yep. My opponent's pretty much forced to do this because they know I have a massive late game advantage, and I would have just gotten my IMF loan up and stuff. So, my opponent didn't really have much of a choice. But that's why this is the meta strategy, guys. I mean, like, you can defend any of their rushes early game, and you can out late game pretty much any strategy. So, like... What's the weakness, you know? All right, our next match of the video is against the current number one player in Hole Masters, Secret OP Strat. We're going the same strategy here of sub, sub, super, and farm, of course. So we're going to start with my Gwendolyn and my submarine right here. 
And they're going to Dartling. Yeah, they're going Dartling Super Farm with Ben. They brought Benjamin. So that's exactly their loadup. They're going, we're both going Super Farm here. So it's definitely destined to go late game. And we will see how this ends up playing out, ladies and gentlemen. It should be a fun one. Get my farmer down, get my balloon bot down here. We will see how this ends up playing out. Yeah, they got their Benjamin down round one. So nicely done there. I've definitely just got to over defend early is going to be the biggest thing because I cannot leak a single life here. Leaking life will be really bad for me. So over defending a little bit is going to be a necessity to make sure I do not end up leaking. We've got twin guns here. But I do have a late game advantage with Gwendolyn in our loadout. Dar our strategy does have a better late game than Darling Super um, Farm and Benjamin because Gwendolyn gives me a lot more damage late game than Benjamin gives them. So I've got a late game advantage, which is going to be fantastic for me. They got their powerful darts up, so nicely done there. They have life rejuvenation with Ben, so they don't have to worry, worry about leaking or anything like that. With their loadout, they have a little bit of peace of mind there. I do have to worry about leaking, but if we don't leak, we'll be in a really good position here, guys. So we're going to get our first farm down pretty soon. Right about here. Perfect. And we'll send some pinks here. Let's get a second submarine down. I should be able to defend that stuff pretty well. You don't always need the second sub. I can probably defend pinks without it, but again, playing it really safe defensively here is going to be what we've got to do to make sure we don't leak. We've got to play it safe. And we're up at the farm here. Nice. We'll send him some whites. We'll use Cocktail this round to buy me some time. And then we'll upgrade our submarines afterwards. Cocktail. Perfect. Alright, let's upgrade this to Air Burst. The second sub will be Twin Guns and Barb Darts here. And that should be able to defend stuff pretty easily for us. Early game. No leaks, no leaks. And we'll send some black balloons. Black balloons should be able to force a second dartling on their end here. Ideally. I, I am spending a lot more on defense than I typically do, but again, you have to do this just to make sure you don't leak, so. It's not a problem that I'm spending a lot of money on defense. Okay, we forced second dartling on their side. That's perfect. I'll take that every day of the week. I'm gonna stop my eco at like 500. Maybe a little bit more than 500. Like 520 probably. I think it's a solid amount of eco to go for. Okay, there's 520. Let's stop my eco right... 525. 525 is good. Stop my eco right there. And our bank will be right here. This is where I'll place my bank. Let's also target the cocktail right there. All right. We're good. 525 eco is a fair amount to go for. So I have bananas on that. Don't know when I'll exactly get my bank up. We'll go for a reactor first, obviously. Um, they're gonna need to get their hydro rocket pods on round ten for sure. Yeah, we forced the hydro rocket pods. I'll take that. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. Nope. We'll go for bank round twelve. I was gonna go for that round, but he uh, sent me a rush, so that's fine. We'll just go round twelve bank here. Which is no problem for me. I should be able to get it up without selling a farm as well, which is going to be nice. They'll get their bank this round probably as well, but again, we have the late game advantage here, so it's totally fine if we're tied in farms. Not a problem with me at all. Yeah, they got their bank up. Nicely done. How much do you sell for? 4k? Get my IMF up. I think I'll rush them, to be honest, with the IMF. Yeah, we got our IMF before them, which is great. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Good defend, good defend. Good send. We'll send them a rerush here in a second. Because they don't have boost or bin ability. We force second rocket storm. Look at this. Look how much we're outplaying them right now, guys. Look how far ahead we are now. In terms of farming. This is why my strategy is so much better. Because they have to make sure they defend those rushes. He didn't have a boost or bin ability for a second rush there. Alright. I'm sitting pretty. Start saving for my third IMF here. Okay, they sell one of the rocket storms. That's fine. I can afford a ballisticness whenever I want. And I'll get my abilities back here in a second. My IMFs to get more. There we go.
we got another one up here. Are they gonna rush me at all is the question of the day. Doesn't look like it currently. I'm gonna have a lot more money than them too because I have Energizer this game. So Energizer is gonna carry my IMF abilities throughout the match, which will be really nice. Okay, we're good against that fortified Moab. How much are in these 10Ks in one of them? We're good on all of them. It looks like. I'll start ecoing eventually as well. This game's destined to go super late. So you'll see I'll play this match actually a lot different than I play my normal ones farming wise and eco wise. I'll eventually start ecoing again. It'll get really interesting, guys. You'll see um how you play this at the top level when you're gonna go round 50. Because this match is probably gonna go round 50 here. It'll be really interesting. Yeah, another IMF. Another one. And our last one will go right here. Perfect. Full map of IMFs now. Um, we're actually going for the Energizer now as well. And now we'll start Purple League going. Oh, per opponent almost died against AI, I just noticed. They've used two boosts, by the way. So we're up, to, we're up two boosts. We're up on farms. We're up on eco. We're in a really good spot. So yeah, now we send Purple Eco. Um, something else I'm going to do as well is I'm going to get a Monkeynomics here in a little bit. Um, which will make more money than this. So we'll go for that pretty soon. How much are in these? Any of these close to max capacity? This one's at 12.7k. Okay, we're good on that. Yeah, no worries. We're chilling, we're chilling. Honestly, this still could maybe end in a tie round 50. Um, if we both can just defend infinite F-Bads in round 50, which there's a chance we can. But either way, I'm happy that I've outplayed my opponent on these cu first couple rounds for sure. All right, got our monkey um, nomics up, which is great. All right, some point soon, I'm actually gonna, let's actually move my farmer and my balloon bot, because they I don't want them to take up farm space. Some point soon, I'm actually gonna build up a banana central here. We're actually gonna pay off all of our debt. It's gonna be really weird how this works, guys. The IMF loans are simply to accelerate my farms, but since the game's gonna pass round 50, we're actually gonna go for banana research facilities and stuff at some point. It's gonna get weird. So just, just bear with me for a second. Or sell that. I fit the farm. There we go. Go for a banana central. 2.7k eco right now. We're gonna collect that. Any more of these at 20k? It doesn't look like it at the moment. Okay. None of the rest of them are at 20k. Stark shift this guy over here. Yeah, I like that spot more. All right, so we're at 210,000 dollars of debt right now. Um. But the reason why we're going to pay off this debt is so I get the full value of my eco later on. Um, because right now my eco is half of the money I'm getting from my eco is going to my bank account and half of it's going into pay off debt. If I pay off all the debt, then I'll get the full value of my eco and then I'll get the full value of all my BRFs on the map, which will make more money overall than a full map of IMFs. So that's going to be the entire idea here and why we're selling off stuff now eventually. Okay. This one's at 20k. Let's sell it off. For BRF. We'll sell this one off as well. This one's at 20k. Sell this one off. This one's at 20k. Okay, we're doing good. That fits you. Alright, now we have max farms on the map. With 5,000 eco. And we're almost paid off all of our debt. We're 73,000 in debt. Soon the debt will be paid off. Really good position here, guys, for us. Really, really good position. Yeah, where do I want to have my Sun, temp sun Temple? Probably right here. Where I'll have it. I don't have to go for it yet, but I will want to make it build it eventually soon. So there will be a first strike capability in the range of it. We want to have this Dark Knight in the range of it, obviously. And then we'll have another super monkey in the range of it as well. And that should be max sacrifices for it. Okay, we all of our debt is now paid off. Perfect. Um, so we're making 100% of the value of all the money we make now, which is great. Soon we'll collect this for 30k, because it's almost full. Collect that, nice. Now once I get enough money for this true sun god, I'll sell my farms and build up the true sun god in the middle, because the true sun god also produces you money, so I want to get that up as soon as possible. 
And it shouldn't take up any farm space in the middle here. I'm not going to build up my Sun Temple yet. And then build up my farms. I'll just build up straight the True Sun God. So I need like a little more than 300k on hand for this True Sun God. Is the idea. A little more than 300k is necessary. Yeah, they didn't die against AI it looks like. They almost did. Got a little scary. Okay, and then we want a farm to sacrifice as well. Yeah, let's actually, okay, this is in the range of a lot of things. Let's sell all this. I don't want it to sacrifice extra things. There we go. And now we'll rebuild the farms that I had to sell. I didn't want to over sacrifice. It's better just to sell the farm than sacrifice extra because you get sell back value when you sell the farm, obviously. So that's the idea. All right. We're looking pretty here. We'll start spamming super monkeys in the range as closely compacted as possible. The only thing is neither of us are going to have like an insane amount of money because this map doesn't have a... This map has a decent amount of farm space, but not a ton of farm space comparatively to some other maps. Some other maps definitely have more more farm space than this one. Alright, they got their true sign got up eventually. Nicely done. At some point soon, I think it's gonna be better for me to pink eco than purple eco to make more money. Um, so I'll do that eventually. But at the moment, I think we're making the maximum amount of money possible here. Hmm. Should I go for a I could go for a support temple as well. I don't know if a support temple's worth on this map though. Because I'd have to sacrifice a bunch of farms for it. Sacrifice farm space. Yeah, I don't think we'll go for a support temple here. I don't think that'd be very smart. Something I can do, though, is get Dark Knights and Dark Shift them out. Because then I can have, um, I make them cheaper, obviously, by the sun, via the Sun Temple. And stuff that's not in my Sun Temple's range getting the damage buffs, it's better to have those as Dark Knights. So that is the idea here. Why I want to dark shift them out. I want to keep the space inside of the Sun Temple for Sun Avatars. So that's something that's going to be smart for him to do. Okay, he went for a support temple, it looks like. I don't necessarily agree with going for... I mean, I might go for a support temple as well eventually. It might be smart, actually, since they did it. But I don't agree with doing it so early because they're sacrificing farm income now is the thing. They're sacrificing farm income because look how many farm spaces that support temple takes up. So now I'm just going to have more money than them. I'm already having more money than them, but to a larger amount. But yeah, I'll probably put my support temple like right here as well, similar to where they put theirs. I should not purple eco anymore, by the way. Purple eco at this point is probably not smart. We'll switch to pinks. Purple eco wouldn't pay for itself back by now, I don't think. Okay. What are we at right now? $500,000. They went for an anti balloon on their side. Fair enough. Select this ability. We passed round 40 just now. Since I didn't leak a single life, we both passed it. As expected. We're almost at a million dollars right now. Which is pretty solid. 12.5k eco is good. Alright. Soon I'm going to get that support tip up here. That they have. I think round 43 I'll do it. I just don't want to do it yet. Because obviously I don't want to miss it on the spear F income. But there's a point where it's better just to play it safe and get it up. You know. So I think we're reaching that point. Let's collect this. Almost 30k. We passed a million dollars, by the way. Alright, so support temple is gonna go right here. I have max. I have max sacrifices in it now. Perfect. I saw it. Where's the farm spot? There we go. Okay, now we spam Sun Avatars. Did I fit a farm up there? I don't think so. Oh, let's go for the Energizer once again. Just to make that ability come back faster. The nice part about the Sun Ava the Sun Temple as well is it's going to buff my uh, True Sun God as well. So, yeah, we're stopping Econ right there. We're done Econ. If I fit another one right there, I can. Perfect. I'm going to fit one right there. I'm going to put a lot of these on Strong here. 
Strong targeting is ideal. Alright, sell farms. It's round 49 now, so... Might as well just go full spam mode. We'll go Legend of the Night right here on Strong. We'll go anti balloon right here on Strong. Send them a fortified bad. Send them more fortified bads. They don't have any boosts available is the thing. I need to keep sending. I don't know if we'll be able to kill them at all with these, but we'll try. We'll try, we'll try. Balloon boost? I think they die. I'm gonna sell defense and keep sending. We're boosting Firestorm this. They die, they die, they die. We win. We win. They don't defend. Let's go! Let's get it.